Welcome to Keto Pros, a blatant ripoff of the best cooking channel on YouTube. Now, my name is Braden, and I've been on the keto diet for about seven months now. One thing I'm going to struggle the most with this holiday season is not drinking eggnog, but luckily, I have a low carb solution. The recipe is fairly straightforward, and all you're going to need is some heavy whipping cream, a sugar substitute, I use Splenda, almond milk, and some eggs. If you happen to have a stand mixer, you're in luck because it'll make it a lot easier, but since not everyone has one, I'm going to leave it out for at least the first portion of this recipe. We start by simply cracking four eggs into a bowl, or at least I thought it was simple. The idea here was not to break the yolks so I could separate them from the whites, but please use whatever separation method you find most convenient. Eventually I did get four whole egg yolks into the bowl and use my favorite little trick that is just an empty water bottle that uses a little vacuum for sucking the egg yolks out of the whites. I'm going to save the whites for an optional step later on. For now, we'll set those aside. Whisk the egg yolks together until they lighten and then gently stir in a pint of almond milk and one cup of heavy whipping cream. Next up is our sugar substitute. I like using Splenda because it matches cup for cup with sugar, so I'm using one third of a cup, but use whatever is equivalent to one third of a cup based on what sugar substitute you are using. Next, I'm going to throw in a teaspoon of freshly ground nutmeg, and this is pretty much it. If you don't want to do the additional step, all you have to do is whisk it together, chill it, and then mix it up pretty good again before serving. There will be a layer of foam sitting on top, and you may need to run it through a sieve if it doesn't settle enough after chilling in the fridge. But for those who want to go the extra mile, pull out your stand mixer and the egg whites we set aside earlier. Get those mixing and then throw in a tablespoon or equivalent of your sugar sweetener and keep whisking until you achieve soft peaks. We're going to whisk our sweetened egg fluff into the rest of our eggnog batch to add just a little more thickness and creaminess overall. It's really worth it if you have the mixer or another method to not whip those egg whites by hand. If not, it's still perfectly delicious without it. Once chilled to your liking, grab yourself a cup and pour yourself some. You deserve it. You worked hard on your eggnog. Of course, we're going to top it off once again with some fresh ground nutmeg. And then we're just going to have ourselves a sip of our nice, delicious eggnog. Of course, if you have family in town, you may want to add something else to your drink. Do keep in mind that straight liquor has no carbs in it, and how much you add only depends on how much you like your in-laws. Remember to drink responsibly and have yourself a happy holiday season.